Hey, day there once again viewers, this is your mate Kamikaze78 here, coming to you guys with some more Planet Side 2 content. Today guys, we're returning to the series where things just get crazier by the episode. You guys know what we're talking about, it's the Time to Gear Up series. The series where you guys put either your favourite or meme loadouts in the comment section down below, and the highest rated loadout by you guys, the community, will be voted into the next episode. Now, obviously guys, creativity here is encouraged. Give the loadout a story or a unique playstyle to spice things up, or you could just make it a really messy loadout, whatever works best for you guys. One of my favourite parts about getting an episode like this out to you guys is seeing what your next evil creation are going to be. But anyway, turning our attention to today, we are going to be returning to the bloke who is playing the game who just can't quite take the hint that he's doing things so, so wrong. The Idiot. Only this time, it's the Idiot Part 2 Electric Boogaloo, a new conglomerate heavy assault loadout suggested by Lance Zealot. Now, the heavy assault is typically a class that can get some serious work done. Well, let's see how it performs when a true idiot is at the helm here, eh? <laughs> <laughs> also, if your loadout legitimately does look like this in-game, then please don't take this personally. It's all for the video, it's all for the joke, but actuality, please do message me if your loadout looks like this. It's not weak to ask for help in this game. <laughs> anyway, let's take a left turn down Moron Lane and see what this dope is running on his build. We start out with the AM1 LMG, which is about as far as you can get from a new conglomerate style LMG here while keeping an MC aesthetic attached to the gun. But either way, this is our weapon of choice, and I don't mind the weapon, but at the same time it ain't my favourite either. We also have an IRNV sight attached alongside a mm, suppressor, okay, again, not the end of the world, and a, oh for god damn it, son of a bitch, here's the idiot part, a bloody flashlight. There it is. Look, flashlights are useful, but on primary weapons, I would rather take anything. Not to mention that the IRNV sight and the flashlight creates the probably most opposite of synergy, which is hilarious to use. More on that in a few minutes here. We also don't have an ammo slot attached because, you know, why not? Why would we make our weapon more effective? God, how dare I? <laughs> As for the secondary weapon here, we have an NS Emissary, which I actually don't mind that much, and we also have a 2 times sight attached to it, alongside a suppressor and a flashlight, which is actually a respectable build. At least our good friend the idiot here is slowly learning one loadout slot at a time. <laughs> you know, just to give you guys some context, the last idiot loadout we featured was using a candy cannon, so yeah, look. Progress. In small steps, it's still progress. Now, as far as our launcher is concerned, it's the NSX Masamune, which, look, I didn't own this before the episode, and that's a hard-earned 1,000 certs I'll never get back. So, don't say I was never dedicated. Anyway, the launcher is a bit strange for sure, we will discuss it more so later on, but yeah, strange launcher. We also have ourselves the resist shield in the ability slot, which isn't really a meta choice right now, but it's still a fair choice in the grand scheme of things, not the weakest choice of the bunch depending on the circumstance. Now, a certain part of me here expected to see us running nanoweave armor because, you know, the synergy between nanoweave armor and resist shield is basically non-existent because you don't get the benefit out of nanoweave armor while the resist shield is running, making it useless. However, we are instead running munitions pouch here because the idiot sure loves his rocket launches, apparently so. In addition to that, we're running throwing knives, because apparently the idiot loves to throw knives as opposed to being, you know, a useful member of his squad, or generally to society, you know. We've also got the good old NSX Amaterasu making a return, a knife that he just refuses to let go of. At least, you know, he has the decency to run medical kits. That's at least somewhat meta in this loadout. Implite wise, fuck it, why not run ammo printer and cat like five? Why? Because the idiot needs all the dacker in the world despite not understanding the principle of the engineer class, and because apparently this moron needs to be the fastest moving heavy assault while sitting in the crouch position. But hey, different strokes for different folks, I guess. So that there is the idiot part 2 electric boogaloo, and I can see this becoming a series in itself based on how things are going with this particular character that we've created in this series. I can see it now, the Chronicles of the Araxian Idiot. <laughs> 
Anyway, if you want to put yourself through the pain that I've had to recently, this is the loadout that will set you back a bare minimum of 3,800 certs or a maximum of 6530 certs. So that's 6530 certs. That's a lot of certs poured into a loadout that simply doesn't work. And that is not including the cost to grind out implants or the directive grind that you need to go through to get your hands on the throwing knives. Alright, so with the idiot part 2 electric boogaloo, despite making it fully aware to my outfit mates that I would be a goddamn liability while using this kit, I spent the majority of the recording session actually using this in an ops with my outfit. And while it was nice to have the moral support of my teammates laughing away at me as I painfully tried to put this to good use, I just... Look, this was one of the messiest loadouts I've ever had the displeasure of using on this series. Lance Zelot said it himself in the comment section. This looks like a mess, I'm not gonna lie. Don't forget to wear bad colour combinations, run in front of allies firing, run away from medics trying to heal you, don't let medics revive you, ignore people needing a gunner, etc, etc. And if we were gonna go down this like a checklist, I'm pretty sure I ticked the majority of this off right out of the gate. I mean, there was a time where my numbskull, dim-witted self decided that heals were optional during said ops and ran away from my squad medics on multiple occasions while they were flinging profanities my way. It's also worth noting that team kills were as common as they came during this filming session as I continued to run in front of my allies because I was clearly the best on the battlefield. Anyway, let's start off with what I find to be the biggest issue here and the biggest meme of this loadout. The combination of attachments on the bloody EM-1. Firstly, a flashlight on a primary weapon. I could understand it if you had the world's biggest vendetta against cloakers and everything they stood for, but damn! I was sorely missing the presence of a laser sight on this EM-1. Also, the flashlight being on all the time completely and totally eliminated any reason for the suppressor to be on the weapon because, you know, I had this, you know, idiot signal. The equivalent of my bat signal. I had an idiot signal on the front of my gun pointing the way forward and alerting enemies to my presence straight off the bat. Now, yes, I could have turned this off, but I figured the idiot wouldn't know how to do so, so I stayed in character, if you will. But that's not bad enough. No, apparently my eyesight was even expendable in the name of freedom with this build, because holy shit, having the flashlight on, which produces light, while you're using an RNV scope that demands darkness, it goes without saying that my retinas were on fire by the time that I had finished with this loadout. I had to step away from my computer for a few minutes. It also doesn't help that the RNV sight literally counteracts the only advantage that the flashlight brings to the table, which is to see infiltrators. Just to clarify, you can't see cloakers at all when they are highlighted by a flashlight through RNV. So I was able to spot them, yes, but then I was just sort of yelling at my teammates, hey, he's over here, come get him, I can't do anything. <laughs> now, as I said earlier, the Masamune was a new addition to my arsenal alongside this episode, and I'm not gonna lie, the weapon grew on me over time. Now, whether that was because I was enjoying myself, or because it was growing on me in the sense of mold growing on old cheese, is left to be debated, but I did manage to find myself enjoying its intricacies the longer I used it to a certain extent. I was able to snipe a couple of aircraft and max suits with it, which is better than I would have thought I was going to do with it out of the gate. It's also not half bad at doing long range vehicle harassment, even if it does keep you relatively vulnerable while you're tracking the rockets in. But I gotta say, a couple of things that I never got around to using were my throwing knives and my knife itself. On the old Infiltrator Idiot loadout, those pieces of the loadout were a little bit more integral, but here I at least had a weapon that featured a 100 round magazine to dish out enough damage. And look, the EM-1 I actually enjoy using from time to time, just not when it's outfitted like this. But anyway, now that I do this commentary and sit about one more stupid death away from finding myself in a teetering fetal position, I must say that this was fun in its own stupid way. It's stupid as all hell to use, and I do not recommend anyone building this loadout for anything. It's not a way to go in regards to being effective. But I don't know, I still found a way to enjoy myself to a certain extent. Actually, that may have been the Discord banter while I was using this talking. Eh, either way, 
Still, the point remains, I enjoyed myself, and I thank Lance Zellot for bringing this loadout forward, and for you guys for voting it into this place of the episode. Guys, that concludes today's episode of Time to Gear Up. If you guys enjoyed today's video, backing in the like button would be greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, consider backing in the subscribe button while you're at it to keep up to date with a whole bunch of other content that we're doing, including more dumb episodes like this. If you're a long-standing member of the channel, guys, and you want to continue to support further, my join button can also be found down below, along with all of my social media links for you guys to go follow me on as well. We've just revamped my Discord server with some new role assignments and stuff like that, so I hope to see you guys all there. Once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace out, and I will see you guys all next time. Take care, guys. Have a good one.